Yeah, it was, uh, yeah, Ides of March released in May. Go figure. Uh, yeah, we didn't think about that. We should have put it out in March, but next time. Uh, yeah, it's, uh, you know, it's, it was definitely um, an interesting period because I was in the middle of a tour cycle with Alter Bridge, and I knew I had a solo record to make, but I was concerned when I would find the time to write it since we were supposed to be touring most all of 2020, obviously the world then shut down. So I had plenty of time to write a record. Uh, and so it took about six months and, um, it was because I had no real distractions, nothing else to focus on. It ended up being beneficial for the writing process. I just was able to immerse myself completely in, into these songs. And, um, you know, it was, certainly informed the narrative was certainly informed by the state of the world you know so it was a, it's a real reflection of that um and how it kind of affected me and my family and and uh so it, in a sense it it was a cathartic process because uh, you know you, you you're able to dig deep and express yourself and hopefully feel better Well, I think what I was itching to do more than anything was play more lead guitar. I felt like some of the styles, as far as like what the solo realm has become, it, it definitely leans more on uh, blues-based music, more um, a lot of the roots, American roots music. Um, so that, that I think that would always, will probably always be there moving forward. But this is more of a plugged-in version of what Year of the Tiger was. And, um, and I wanted to play more lead more you know i started as a lead guitar player i needed to do it for my own sanity so that's that's the that's the real uh, th that was the real perk of making this record for me oh that's tough that's hard because you know i spend so much more time playing lead guitar when i'm at home like th this morning i was supposed usually i try to get in this routine where i get up and you know, do the healthy things and you're like a routine, like you know, just to keep, keep my brain healthy and my body healthy. But today I couldn't help it. I was just like, I'm going to play guitar for an hour first. And, and, and a lot of, you know, instead of writing, it's just a lot of improvising, playing blues changes. And, and so I spend so much time doing that. And I, it's such a, it's such a, a Zen thing for me. Don't get me wrong. I love singing and I'm grateful to have, have the ability to you know express myself with that. But I mean, guitar is like the greatest instrument ever, right? So it's, it's, I'm a little biased there. It's tricky. Yeah. I mean, I think it was just like, I think what, when I listen to some of these songs now, you can really sense that there was a certain, there was an uncertainty, you know, and there was just so much, there were so many unknowns and so many questions about where things could possibly go. And I think that was, that's what I get when I listen to this now. And, and so yeah, I mean, it definitely had a profound effect. Obviously, it pulled me off the road, pulled my band off the road, uh, and and it, we we were, you know, it was just something unprecedented. We hadn't, I hadn't seen this. I'd I'd heard that this is ha that this, this sort of thing had happened throughout history, but then suddenly it happens, and it really kind of jolts you, you know. So trying to navigate all that. Look, I'm really grateful to have had the option to express all of that through the music it's kind of like you hear about all the, the things that are happening with people like psychologically and how unhealthy it's been for so many people around the world not just from a health standpoint but just mentally you know and and so having the ability to work through that you know is just it's just priceless with songs yeah well we um so unfortunately we ha we were in the middle of that album cycle for for walk the sky so i think now we'll probably reconvene early next year or mid next year and try and make a record and um you know start all over again uh with with slash the conspirators lots of songs have been written and are in the can so to speak and we're very excited about that but with both of them the trick is because they're they tour at a certain level it's like when would you release something like that and make it so that it makes sense and so i think yeah i mean i would if i were a bet man i'm gonna guess hopefully like early next year things will start really moving uh, moving smoothly in that in that respect but um i'm just trying to stay optimistic
Yeah, I mean, each one is kind of got its um, its its own way of creating and stylistically its own its own realm. So it's nice to keep all of that kind of in its in its place so that it doesn't get redundant for me and then hopefully for the listener as well because obviously if you hear the same you know, the voice in the same context over and over then it okay you know uh we've heard that so so yeah i think the you know the process like with alter bridge is a i'm playing guitar in that which is wonderful as you know i like the guitar and so so you know mark and i will write the the, the music and the songs and the melodies and the lyrics together and and get that um that, that's been a process we've been doing now for over i don't know what is it 16 years 17 years with slash he presents he'll send me a demo of of a music bed like riff chord progression so and so and say you know put your lyric and your melody to it and and occasionally i might be like hey you know let's take this section here and move it here so i can put a chorus here you know but generally that's how the process works and it's and it's it's worked that way for over a decade so yeah, they're, and then with the solo thing, it's all up to me. So I sit and come up with the song, demo the song, you know, put everything together on the, the kind of, like with this record in particular, I really wanted to present to the band and the producer, like, here's what I'm hearing. Programmed all the drums, played all the instruments. Here's what it's going to sound like. And and I had plenty of time because we were in the middle of a, you know, no, we weren't able to go on the road. So I had plenty of time to put my, my demos together. Great. Yeah. It's, you know, it's been really amazing to, you know, that's been in, a, I guess, a thing now in my community for enough time to where we get to see the kind of the fruits of our labor and how it is impacting the community. And so, yeah, getting instruments into the hands of people who couldn't otherwise have them or in private instruction or help, you know, helping a school whose funds have been cut, getting them instruments, uh, yeah, it's 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 really wonderful to see that, that to see that s somehow some way you're part of something that is helping another human being express themselves. You know, that's all I that's all I can offer at this point other than some songs is is hopefully there'll be some young person uh, who will have a chance to play an instrument who otherwise couldn't couldn't have from from an economic standpoint and then they go on and create something or do something that helps another human or it's just as simple as you know a kid getting a flute and realizing well the flute wasn't for me but at least i got a chance to try right and i'm sorry so that sounds like someone's mowing their lawn so it's going to be real loud 